with years of years and it's this day in Disney for June 11th and today we are going back to 1912 with the birth of director writer pr producer and narrator Disney legend James Algar is born in Modesto California so after he had received his master's degree uh, in journalism, he actually joined the Disney company back in 1934, so quite a while ago ago and at Disney he created many nature and animal motion pictures such as The African Lion and Grand Canyon. Um, Alcar Algar also penned five Academy Awards uh, winning films including uh, the 1953 hit The Living Desert. Uh, he worked on a 26 one hour, 26 of the one hour episodes for the Wonderful World of Disney television series. And he wrote, especially this is like one of the most exciting parts to me, is that he wrote and produced great moments with Mr. Lincoln for the 1964 World Fair. So obviously, and later at Disneyland. So that was the original um, great moments in, with Mr. Disney that uh, was at the World's Fair, like I said, and he's the one who um, wrote it. And then I believe they, when they brought it over to Disney, they might have, Disneyland, they might have made a couple of changes to it, but pretty much it was, you know, the script that he uh, <laughs> came up with. So, um, he actually worked for Walt Disney Production Company for 43 years, and um, he was involved in so many films. So, he had a part in Seal Island, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, In Beaver um, Valley, Nature's Half Acre, The Olympic Elk, Bear Country, Prowlers of the Evergrades, The Living Desert, um, The Vanishing Prairie, The African Lion, Secrets of Life, White Wilderness, Grand Canyon, Jungle Cat, Ten Who Dared, The Legend of Lobo, The Incredible Journey, The No Mobile, and The Best of Walt Disney's True Life Adventures. And then he actually, he worked on the original uh, Fantasia and then he worked on Fantasia 2000. So um, many of those, the ones that I mentioned, which were the True Life Adventure ones, um, like the, Se the Secrets of Life, the African Lion, all those, The Vanishing Prairie, those are on Disney Plus, and I love, I love these. I don't know why. I really enjoy these so much, and um, I like the nature films. But these are fun to just have on sometimes when, you know, you're not really watching TV, maybe folding laundry or something. But uh, I think they did such a great job. If you think about the years they were doing these back in the, you know, they started out in the early 50s, and then. Um, moving through to the 60s, um, they did such a good job. And like I've said in previous videos, I really think uh, Disney was at the forefront of nature films at the time. And they were groundbreaking a lot of, you know, area that hadn't been explored before. And James Alger was a big part of it because of his talent and um, the things that his eye, his what he was interested in. And they, they did such a good job of, you know, really taking you through the, the life cycle of different animals and their interactions with other. And I think that's so integral in when you're looking at a specific um, place on the planet and, and how they all interact with you. I think they were doing that at the time. And, and so you can really, um, you know, see how <laughs> the animals interacted. And that was so good for science and children learning and understanding uh, the nature of animals and so I'm pretty sure a lot of these were used in schools back in the day too. Uh, I think even my my mother-in-law mentioned that last week in some of the comments on, on a different uh, Disney thing that we talked about. <laughs> so I don't remember ever seeing uh, specific Disney stuff in school but I think it's cool that um, my mother-in-law did <laughs> and if you guys did back when you were growing up if you saw these in school tell me that because I think it's cool that they were using them in classes um, but James Algar you know he had a big part another thing that was so important to 
um, how they did such a good job with the nature films is they really took a long time I mean years like a whole year with a specific subject they would literally just sit there and film like for in beaver valley i know that they just sat there and watched the beavers um, day in and day out and then combing through all that footage to you know bring it down i mean i think in beaver valley runs about an hour and 12 minutes maybe it's not very long for the all the footage they must have got so you know, cutting that down and producing something that would have um, been able to be enjoyable and not just sitting around for hours and hours trying to figure out, is this fun? So they create stories for the animals and, you know, different names and all sorts of things like with uh, Perry, which is about a squirrel. So go check out those nature films and James Alger had a huge part of it. And that's it for this day in Disney. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.